Have you ever recorded the perfect video, but then every time you try to upload it, the overlay buttons get in the way, or it's not cropped right, and you just wish there was an easy way to properly format for each social media platform? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do that, including trimming, cropping, subtitling, even seeing where social media overlays are. There are a handful of programs that can do that, but I use Kapwing because it's super simple and completely browser-based. So the first thing you're going to need to do is upload your footage. To do this, go ahead and click the link down here in the bio. Once you're here, click get started and use your email to sign in or sign up and click create new project. If you're on your computer, you can drag your video file from your desktop or you can upload straight from URL link or just start with a blank canvas. But I'm gonna assume you already have your footage and so we're going to upload it directly. Once you've done that, you will see a page with everything laid out in your timeline. Your files may already be exactly how you want them, timed, trimmed, edited. If not, here is how to trim and crop your footage. Simply hover over either end of a clip and you will see the double-sided arrows appear. When that happens, just click and drag to trim your footage to exactly how long you want it. To crop your footage, click on your clip and then go to the right sidebar and you will see the crop button. Click that and then click and drag any of the rectangles that appear to crop your footage. Then click in the gray area to finalize. To resize, click on your clip and you will see dots appear around the corners of the video. Click and drag those to make it smaller or bigger. And if you wanna keep the aspect ratio the same, make sure that lock ratio is turned on in the sidebar on the right. If not, you can go ahead and keep that setting on fill. All right, so your video is ready. Now let's get some tips and tricks for formatting like safe zones. So safe zones is a really incredible feature that helps you avoid getting in the way of social media overlays. To do this, go ahead and click in the gray area outside of your video and then go over to the sidebar on the right. Under the Canvas tab, if you scroll down, you will see Safe Zones. Click whichever social media platform you will be using and you will immediately see a transparent overlay of what the buttons will look like on that platform. This is so helpful. And now if you need to change anything, you can use your new cropping skills to make it fit just right. You can also turn on all platforms so that in one click, you can see how to avoid every overlay. This is super amazing. But let's say you have a horizontal video that you want to fit into a vertical platform. This is where we'll use Kapwing's Canvas Blur. So if you have a 9x16 canvas and want to fit a 16x9 video without cutting off anything, go back to the sidebar on the right and scroll down and just above Safe Zones, you will see Canvas Blur. When you turn on Canvas Blur, the background of your video will automatically blur, expanding the images and colors of your videos into the background and making it more cohesive. Last but not least, you may want to have subtitles, but many platforms don't give you the option to customize them. So here is how to add subtitles. To do this, go to the sidebar on the left-hand side and click subtitles. The easiest method here is to click auto-generate. This will use transcription API to hone in on what's being said and automatically subtitle it. When that is done, you will see the subtitle options on the side and you can move them, you can change the font, the size, the color, the background settings, and even change any of the automatically generated words. And voila, you have successfully formatted an incredible social media video ready to post anywhere and everywhere. As a reminder to export your video, click the green export video button in the right hand corner. You can play around with the settings here and then click export again and you will be taken to a screen where your video processes. When that is done, click download file and your video will download straight to your device. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let us know in the comments below if you have any thoughts or questions or videos you want us to make in the future. Do not forget to subscribe. We put out videos every week on how to level up your storytelling by creating amazing videos. Thank you so much for watching and happy editing.